everyone with time let's crochet this beautiful horse applique or you can turn this horse applique into a granny square like this one the tutorial on how to turn a circle into a granny square is here the link is here i have already uploaded the tutorial and this is similar for all animals i'm going to create in this blanket project the friendship forest blanket made of various animals and friends for this project i'm using a little cotton gold yarn and three millimeter crochet hook let's start to begin make a magic ring chain three this chain tree is not considered as one stitch. 12 double crochet into the ring for double crochet yarn over. Insert the hook into the ring, pull up the yarn. 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull it through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull it through the last two loops. This is called a double crochet. Another double crochet. Go on until you have 12 double crochet. 3, 4, 5, 12. Close the ring. Skip the three chains at the beginning of the round. Find the first double crochet and this is the top of my double crochet. Slip a stitch into this stitch, first double crochet. For a slip a stitch, insert the hook into this stitch. Pull up the yarn and pull this yarn through this loop on the hook. Round 2, chain 1, 1 single crochet into the same stitch, chain 1, I've created a standing single crochet and it's considered as one double crochet, create another double crochet into the same stitch. In fact, I have two double crochet into this first stitch. Two double crochet into next stitch. Two double crochet into each stitch by the end. And at the end, you will have 24 double crochet counting this standing single crochet. At the end, skip the first single crochet, standing single crochet, and this is the first double crochet. Slip a stitch on top of the first double crochet. Round 3, chain 1, single crochet into the first stitch, chain 1, 1 double crochet into the same stitch. 2 double crochet into next stitch and 2 double crochet into each stitch by the end and at the end you will have 48 double crochet at the end a slip a stitch on top of the first double crochet Round 4, chain 1, 
one single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet into each stitch by the end of the round and at the end you will have 48 single crochet the same number as previous round Cast them off This is my first single crochet And this is my last single crochet Done And hide the extra tails into the work for the muzzle make a magic ring chain two ten half double crochet into the ring for half double crochet yarn over, insert the hook into the ring and pull up the yarn. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull it through all three loops. This is called a half double crochet. Continue until you have ten half double crochet. Two, three, Four, ten. Close the ring. Skip the first two chain and the slip a stitch on top of the first half double crochet. Round two, chain one, one single crochet into the same stitch. One half double crochet into the same stitch. Two half double crochet into next stitch. One and two. Two half double crochet in each stitch. Go on until the end and you will have 20 half double crochet. And you can count this first single crochet as one half double crochet. Twenty half double crochet. Skip the first single crochet and slip a stitch on top of the first half double crochet. Round three, chain one single crochet into the same stitch. Half double crochet into the same stitch. In fact, I have two half double crochet into first stitch. One half double crochet into next stitch. Two half double crochet into next. One half double crochet into next. So repeat this pattern. Two half double crochet into next stitch, one half double crochet into next, and at the end you will have 30 half double crochet. At the end, a slip a stitch on top of first half double crochet. Now, a slip a stitch into the back loop of next stitch. See, each stitch has two loops. One loop is in front of me, the front loop. Another loop is in the back side, back loop. For this part, I'm going to use back loops only. So, insert the hook into the back loop of the same stitch. Pull up the yarn. And pull it through this loop too. In fact, I moved to the back loop and I created a slip stitch. Chain one, 
Yarn over. Insert the hook into the next stitch back loop only. Pull up the yarn. Insert the hook into the next stitch back loop only. And pull up the yarn. Four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull it through all four loops. Half double crochet into the next stitch back loop only. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the next stitch back loop only. Pull up the yarn. Insert the hook into the next stitch back loop only. Pull up the yarn. Four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull it through all four loops. Chain two and turn. Round two, yarn over, insert the hook into this first stitch and pull up the yarn. Into the next stitch and pull up the yarn. Yarn over and pull it through all four loops. Half double crochet into next stitch. Yarn over, pull it through the last stitch, pull up the yarn and also this second chain, insert the hook, pull up the yarn, four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull it through all four loops, chain two and turn. One half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into next stitch and one half double crochet into last stitch. Chain two and turn. Have one decrease here. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up the yarn into the next stitch, pull up the yarn and pull it through all. One half double crochet into last one chain two and turn yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch pull up the yarn and into the last stitch pull up the yarn and yarn over pull it through all four loops and chain one this is the muzzle for the ear make a slip knot and chain five one, two, three, four, five. Skip the first chain into the second chain back bump. Make a single crochet. If you turn the chains, there are some tiny bumps behind. I'm using these bumps to create my stitches. So skip the first one into the second chain back bump one single crochet one single crochet into the next chain back bump slip a stitch into the next chain back bump and a slip a stitch into the last chain back bump chain one and turn into the back side of chains continue slip a stitch into the same stitch i created my last slip stitch slip a stitch into next stitch single crochet in next stitch and another single crochet into next stitch and fasten up join the head collar into this first stitch or single crochet back loop only it's in this corner chain one and one single crochet into the same stitch single crochet into next stitch back loop slip a stitch into next stitch back loop slip a stitch into next back loop and also into next stitch back loop chain two slip a stitch into next stitch back loop 
into next stitch, a slip stitch, back loop, single crochet into next stitch, back loop only, and single crochet into last stitch, back loop only. Now slip a stitch into next space you can see and also into first stitch or loop and this is the ear for the hair make a slip knot and chain seven one two three four five six seven skip the first chain into the second chain back bump make one single crochet one single crochet in each chain back bump by the end two and six Now chain 3, slip a stitch into the next stitch. If you turn, you're going to work on these stitches here on this side and also on this side. So slip a stitch into the next stitch on the other side, the front loop only. As you can see, there are two loops. I need the front loop. So slip a stitch into the front loop, chain 3, slip a stitch into the next stitch, front loop, chain 3, slip a stitch into the front loop of next stitch, and just repeat this pattern by the end. For another part of hair, make a slip knot and chain 21. 1, 2, 3. I have 21 chains. Skip the first chain. Slip the stitch into the second chain. Chain 1. Slip the stitch into next chain. Chain 1. This is the pattern. A slip a stitch in each chain chain one slip a stitch into next chain chain one a slip a stitch chain one and repeat this pattern by the end until you reach here then fasten off at the end and continue creating more strands of hair right here just to start chaining 21 and then creating the similar pattern a slip a stitch into the second chain chain one a slip a stitch in next chain chain one until you reach here and then create another strand for the eyes i'm using a smaller crochet hook size two millimeter crochet hook instead of three millimeter make a magic ring chain one and six single crochet into the ring one two three four five and six close the ring and slip a stitch into the first single crochet now i'm going to join the parts there is one important point if you are going to turn this circle into a granny square consider that the back loops of these chains this single crochet of my last round these back loops have to stay intact you shouldn't use them 
and they should be free so that we can turn this circle into a square using these back loops so we need these back loops for turning it to a square My horse applique is over. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To watch the other tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Happy crochet!